a new day of campaigning starts. This time, Salva Kiir, the incumbent president of Southern Sudan, is heading towards the states that straddle North and South Sudan. While his Sudan's People Liberation Movement is boycotting the elections in the North, here in the South, the hunt for votes is on. There's excitement in the remote village of Mawit. Everyone has gathered to get a glimpse of the guest of honor. I want the country to be built. There's no hospital here. I want water and electricity. I want the children to go back to school. Salva Kiir's message is simple. Vote for me and I will provide you with basic services. A message that resonates in this area of southern Sudan where people feel forgotten by their leadership. Two hours later, the president's helicopter takes off again. Next destination, Rank in Upper Nile province. Salva Kiir is accorded the honors of a head of state. In southern Sudan, Salva Kiir is more than just the president. He represents a generation of leaders who first led the struggle against the north and then negotiated peace. Now he needs to convince voters that he will keep this peace and eventually build an independent state. The borderline between north and south has still not been agreed upon. The north always build tunnels and bring their tanks on the border. You don't draw borders with tanks, but on maps. We told this to the National Congress. We are the only ones who will make the demarcation line happen. The Salva Kiir campaign has traveled relentlessly across southern Sudan. 52 stops in three weeks, mostly by air. There are no roads. These are the last few hours. Strategically, this last leg of the campaign is taking place in the state bordering what would become the demarcation line between the north and the south. Areas that need to be won over in preparation for the referendum next year. Unity State is one of the most contested areas and all Sudanese parties want to have a stake here. Tensions are high and security is much tighter. The militias from the north have weapons. The tribes from the south have weapons. They fight. There's also a lot of inter-tribal fighting. It's not good. The weapons must be confiscated. Since the peace agreement was signed five years ago, many across southern Sudan have accused the government of not doing enough to improve their lives. Still, Salva Kiir's supporters here are confident that he will remain their president. For them, he is the only one who can deliver the dividends of peace. Khadabdev Hamid, Al Jazeera, Southern Sudan.